Alexander Besputin versus Maximiliano Ricardo Veron. Who do you all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, Top Rank stated that uh, this fight between Besputin and Veron will be in the undercard of this fight between Biterbiab and Danis. Uh, to be shown live on ESPN and ESPN Plus. I believe this fight between uh, Besp uh, Besputin will be on ESPN. Let me read real quick. Um, yeah, ESPN will open the broadcast starting at 3 p.m. Uh, this weekend, this Saturday on the March March 20, with uh, Besputin fighting against Veron. So the fight, uh, this fight between uh, Besputin and Veron will open up the. Uh, the card on ESPN. So tune into ESPN if you want to see this fight between Best Putin and Veron. To those who doesn't know who Alexander Best Putin is, former contender in the welterweight division, currently undefeated, 13 and 0, nine wins come by way of Nakar Tikio. Hasn't fought since getting the uh, no contest. It was a win for him, but it ended up being a ruled a no contest because Best Putin tested positive for a banned substance, which was completely which was very, very disappointing. I, and I, I'm a fan, man. I was a, I'm a fan of Best Putin, but holy cow, man. That shit pissed me off. I'm going to be honest. Him testing positive pissed me off. I'm still mad at him for, for testing positive. I'm still, you know, I still haven't forgiven him for, for pretty much cheating. You know what I mean? Um, he, he tested positive for both A and B samples. He got stripped of the belt for the regular WBA title. And, uh, and yeah, he got suspended and I guess it worked out for him because of Corona. Um, and now he's back. Here he is. First fight back since the Butayev fight uh, against Maximiliano Ricardo Veron, a 32-year-old fighter from Argentina. 12-3-1 draw, 4 wins come by way of Nac Articchio. He's come with a win against Diego Ramirez over in Argentina. If you look at his resume, most of his fights took place. If yeah, Actually, all his fights took place over in Argentina. This will be his first time fighting outside of Argentina. And there's footage of him here on, on YouTube. You can watch footage of him. And from what I've seen of him, if Vesputin is still the same, t same fighter as he was and he's not cheating, he's still going to win this fight, even if he's not cheating. I just hope he's not cheating anymore. Um, or you know, using the un the um, the banned substance. Hopefully, he's not using it anymore. Uh, but knowing how best Putin fights, you know, stylistically speaking, the way he fights, he's very he's a very good boxer, man. He he really is. <laughs> he's a very entertaining fighter too. It's just so unfortunate that the dude that's a positive man. It's shit really pissed me off. But he should be able to go out there, get the W, get the win. Should be no problem for uh, best Putin again. Starting at. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Time here in the States, so it's going to be uh, early afternoon. Um, so keep that in mind on ESPN in the undercard of Biterbia versus Danis. So, and I apologize with the blinking sound, dinking, or whatever the, the, the beep sound in the background. It's uh, my Discord's going off. I need to mute that. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Besputin TKO in the early, it's scheduled for 10 rounds, so in the first half, in my opinion, he should be able to win this fight by TKO. Uh, should be no problem for him. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.